I like puffins for many reasons. I am in awe of their ability to fly 50 miles an hour through the air, to dive over 100 feet deep, to come flying in with beak loads of fish that they miraculously catch. But I'm also in awe of puffins because they capture the imagination of people everywhere. Puffins come back to the main coast during the first week of April. They reconnect with their mate. They stake out a burrow. And by the end of April, they may have their egg. The survival of the chick depends upon our ability to be stewards of the forage fish that the parents need to feed the chick. In New England, the biggest fishery for forage fish is for Atlantic herring. And that fishery removes about 100,000 metric tons of fish every year, which is about 1.5 billion individual fish. If there's not enough forage fish in the water, the puffins will have a harder time finding the food that they need and their chicks will starve. And we saw that in 2012 when the waters were unusually warm. The butterfish, being a warmer water fish, were more available, but a puffin is a specialized feeder, and the chicks have a, a, a limited gape size. We saw the little puffin chicks gagging on these fish. They just couldn't get them down, and they coughed it up, they picked it up, and tried it again. Uh, sadly, many of those chicks were found dead, surrounded by these oversized butterfish. Fisheries have become increasingly powerful in the last century or so. Their ability to deplete populations and to throw ecosystems into a state of chaos has skyrocketed. Our approach where we think about only one type of fish at a time and don't think about the interconnectedness of the ecosystem really isn't working. If you leave enough forage fish in the ecosystem, you can support healthy populations of seabirds like puffins. Puffins are great survivors. They live in the, in the wilds of the open ocean. They can take waves probably up to 100 feet. If we give them a chance and we provide enough food for them, they're, they're gonna be great survivors long into the future. <laughs>